Hi, beautiful souls. How's everybody out there doing today? So we're back with another guided message for next week, okay? So we got here, pick a card, all right? Actually, pick a color candle, and let's get started. So we got pile one, which is a pink candle, pile two, the orange candle, and pile three is the white candle. So feel free to pause, all right? Choose the color, whatever color resonates, all right? And we're gonna get started. So let's start with the pink candle, pile one. What message that we need to pay attention to next week? What guidance, all right, that we need going into next week? So we got the hermit, all right? So the overall message for next week is you need to spend time by yourself you need to go in solitude okay perhaps for the past couple of months the wheels been turning okay you haven't had time by yourself or just you know seeking solitude all right meaning that you need to probably take a walk by yourself meditate more okay keep in a journal sitting down writing on all your deepest thoughts all right but this week is calling for you to take a break all right, take a break this week. Draw back your energies from others around you, all right? And paying attention to yourself and going more inwards this week, all right? Perhaps there's something that you've been trying to manifest and you've been wondering, where the hell is my manifestation? I want this thing so bad. But the universe is trying to tell you, you need to spend time by yourself. Whatever it is that you want to manifest, sometimes you need to go within to seek the answer. Maybe there's something that the universe wants you to do before this thing, this desire or wish is manifested. So you need to go in solitude, okay? Your higher self wants to connect with you. So spend time by yourself this week, okay? Like I said, take a walk. All right, spend time with your crystals this week, okay? Just find at least 15, 20 minutes this week that you go in solitude by yourself, okay? I know sometimes it's hard when you have a family and, you know, you don't have that one-on-one -on -one time with yourself, but you, hey, going in the washroom, closing that door, spending five minutes by yourself, okay? That's all you need, all right? Closing that door, just spending at least five, ten minutes by yourself, closing your eyes, and just seeking whatever answer comes. That's all you need, okay? So let's see what's something unexpected that will arise this week. So we got imagine. Move this closer, imagine. So I feel... Spending time by yourself this week, okay, with the hermit is going to allow you to imagine your life the way you want it to be. Perhaps where it is that you want to manifest, you're not spending that time enough to visualize the life that you want, okay? You're not spending time with your manifestation. Yes, you're putting it out there in the universe, but you got to spend time with it as well. You got to visualize, okay? You got to write it down. You got to imagine your life what it is that you want it to be, okay? And it's calling for you this week to go in solitude, spend time visualizing, spend more time with yourself this week and your manifestation, okay? Like I said, if it's five to ten minutes closing yourself away in a washroom close your eyes imagine what it is that you want to manifest imagine you having this goal having this wish already okay so it's calling for you to spend time with your imagination all right and you'd be surprised if you spend at least five ten minutes each day with your with your imagination you'd be, be surprised how closely you are to manifesting whatever it is that you want so it's calling for you just you know look at your life this week with more deeper understanding okay and whatever that you seek is within you all right and it's calling for you just to use your imagination all right you'd be surprised how you can stay grounded and balanced this week all right so you can stay grounded and balanced this week by realizing that you are worthy okay you are worthy whatever it is that you ask for this week. Whatever you're facing this week, you are blessed. 
you are worthy of anything that comes your way this week, okay? I feel that some of us this week may struggle with self-esteem and self-worth and reminded yourself this week, the way to stay grounded and balanced is to look at your life and look at yourself this week with so much confidence, all right? Realize that you are worthy of anything that you want. Don't let anybody talk down to you. Don't let anybody let, you know, telling you, oh my God, like, you can't have what you what what you ask for or oh it's so silly to believe in the universe okay like what are you talking about manifest you know sometimes keeping your goals and your wishes to yourself just keep it to yourself sometimes don't share it with others because it will bring you down okay it will bring you down so it's calling for you to go in solitude spend time with yourself realize how self-worthy how self-confidence you are and whatever it is that is that you seek you will receive okay you got to just believe in yourself you got to have that self-confidence in yourself you may you may not see it now you may not see it this week but you know that it's coming you know that it's there and it's calling for you to go inwards to gain that self-confidence that self-worth to know that you're going to get whatever it is that you want but you got to believe in yourself first and don't listen to others that put you down or negative thoughts towards you or others around you listen to yourself because you are a light being whatever it is that you seek you are worthy okay so it's calling for you to be grounded and balanced this week it's to find yourself worth this week and ties in with the hermit is to go within this week inner guidance inner wisdom is by finding your self-confidence this week do something that makes you happy this week and like i said spending five to ten minutes by yourself this week okay using your imagination all right could boost your self-confidence could boost your self-esteem could boost your self you know self-awareness and boost your manifestation skills okay so go within this week all right it's good for you it's gonna bring balance and just make you more grounded in your life to let you know that you deserve all the best you got to believe in yourself okay boost your self-confidence all right do something that makes you happy this week all right taking that walk like i said closing that bathroom door okay taking a bath okay a long bath this week closing that bathroom door i don't care if the kids are crying all right make sure they're safe close that bathroom door and just go within all right be by yourself this week it's going to be good for you and your self-confidence so any important emotions that you may feel this week all right important emotions so we got the fire okay the passion all right so you see by going inwards this week okay it's gonna create that passion that fire in your life all right that you've been seeking okay for maybe for a long time you're like i just need something different i just need something in my life that's going to like create something different okay create passion in my life again and sometimes when you get in solitude you get by yourself okay it releases okay it releases that passion that fire in your life okay it brings back the passion fire that you've been seeking for so long in your life okay and we all crave that okay we all crave that it's okay we all crave passion and fire in our life but by going inwards okay using your imagination and just having that self-confidence it's gonna spark a new passion in your life all right it's gonna spark intense desire for something new for something in your life it's going to spark that passion towards that manifestation that you want so you're going to feel that passion that you know that fire in your belly for something that you want all right like it's going to make your heart be faster and you're going to feel so good about yourself and so good about your manifestation and just feeling so good about your life because you know whatever it is that you want is going to come that passion is is like a strong feeling okay a strong feeling a sensation that's so powerful it's going to motivate you 
It's going to motivate you this week, all right, to be in solitude and to use your imagine, imagination. And a self-confidence that you're going to gain this week is going to create that fashion, a passion and fire in your life to go after whatever it is that you want, all right? You're opening up yourself to more passionate things and things getting created in your life, all right? You're expressing that this week, all right? By the end of the week, you're going to feel so passionate about your life, whatever it is that you want to manifest. You're going to feel so good. It's going to finally feel like, man, I am top of the world, all right? That self-worth is coming back, that self-esteem. And all you have to do is just spend time by yourself this week, going in solitude, all right? Using your imagination brings your self-confidence up. That's going to create so much passion and fire and self-confidence and that drive to pursue whatever it is that you want. You're going to feel it this week, all right? This week, is you're, you're just going to feel it. It's going to bring it out of, out of you this week. Something that will inspire you this week, all right? Let's see what's going to inspire the you this week. All right, patience. All right, so you're going to be inspired to be patient because you know whatever it is that you want is coming. All right, you're not holding yourself back. You have no doubt, no fear. You, you trust in the universe this week. You trust in yourself. All right, and all you have to do is spend five, ten minutes by yourself using your imagination to achieve your goal and boost your self confidence, whatever that took you this week to that self confidence, that self esteem. All right, within you, create a passion, a fire, a burning sensation in your gut, your belly, and inspire more patience. You're no longer that person that you were last week. You're a new person coming into this week. And it's creates so much patience within you because you know whatever it is that you seek is within you. And you trust and have faith that whatever it is that you want is created. It's here. All you got to do is just believe in yourself and know that you're going up. So this week, it's just going to create more solitude for you to spend time by yourself you get the messages from your higher self the guidance that you need will boost your imagination your visualizing for your manifestation which in fact will help you with your self-confidence your self-worth and your manifestation skills you will just feel that you're on the right path this week that whatever it is that you want is coming. It's going to create more fire, more passion within you. You're just going to feel a brand new person this week. And all you have to do is just go within yourself to seek the answer. And it's going to inspire you to be more patient. And not to, not to be too hard on yourself this week. Because you know whatever it is that you want is coming. And you're patient with it. All right? You're okay with it. You're okay waiting because you know the best is yet to come. You're okay with it. Whatever is that new job that you want, that loving partner, for all of us is different. But you're okay. You're okay waiting for it. Because you know that the best is yet to come. You're going to feel so good this week about yourself about your goals you're just gonna feel like a brand new person and all you had to do was spend time by yourself okay all you had to do was take a break this week and go within and you transform into this passionate person and it's patient person it's inspired to you to be more patient with yourself and others around you and with your manifestation because you just know that it's coming all right, and how my spirit guides speak to you this week. It's funny how this comes up, right? If you guys could see it, inner trust. Doesn't that tie in so beautiful with the message? Inner trust. As what I've been saying, patience, you're just going to know this week. You're just going to have that inner trust this week to know whatever it is that you want is coming. 
And all you had to do, like I said, was go in, inwards with the hermit, solitude by yourself, finding your inner wisdom, your inner self, connecting with your higher self to gain that boost, that fire within you. Okay? And believing in yourself, be believing in your, in your skills, in yourself. It's all you had to do this week. And that produces inner trust. Because you know you are worthy of everything that you want. This week I sense for group one, the pink candle. Pink candle as well reflects self's love, okay? self-love just loving yourself ties in so perfectly with this message you're finding yourself again this week you're going within you're learning to love yourself again you're learning to trust yourself you're boosting your self-confidence you're feeling so good this week and you took a time out to just be by yourself being your best friend, loving yourself again, finding your true self again, connecting with yourself, which created passion within you, that burning desire in your gut. And patience that you're okay where you are right now because you know that things are going to get better. You're only going up with this card. You're only going up. You took the time out to imagine your life, what you want it to be. You took the time out to visualize your life, either in meditation or writing it down. All right, you took the time out to go within. That created a new you and more fire. In your life fire when fire fire to, to, to me is like it burns very quickly so you took that time out and whatever it is that you want is quickly coming to you you're burning through the self-doubt negative thoughts as making you into a more patient person to know that you have inner trust your spirit guides letting you know that inner trust having that inner trust we got your back we got you you don't have to worry we got you. And then the last card is how to best support yourself this week. <laughs> how to best support yourself? Trust. It says, I am safe. I am secure. In love, I trust. My fate endures. Trust. right i sense for this pile that for pat perhaps for a couple months you've been struggling we all have struggles okay for each of us it's different it could be financial struggles love whatever it is that you've been struggling for a while and perhaps you've been you know you've been asking the universe give me a sign give me something to let me know that i'm on the right path And here you are with this message. And the universe wants to let you know sometimes the best answer comes from within. And all you had to do was just go within yourself to get the answer. And spend time by yourself just imagining your life that you want it to be. And from you doing that, you're going up upwards. And you create a fire within you, a new person, new desire, fire within you. A new person that just self-worth, self-confidence, self-love. With a pink candle ties in perfectly. Creating more trust, more patience within yourself to know that whatever struggles that you're going through, you're going to overcome it. And this week is going to show you that you are strong. 
you are safe. And all what you've been through is just to make you stronger. And you all have overcome it. And for you to have inner trust and trust yourself that whatever it is that you seek, whatever it is that you want, whatever it is resolution to your problem, it's coming. And your spirit guides are calling for you to have more inner trust. They heard you. They heard your cries. They heard you. But you got to have inner trust and you got to trust yourself. And you got to know that you are worthy of every good thing you're worthy of everything that you ask for you're worthy of love you have worthy of financial blessings you have worthy of abundance in your life you are worthy don't let you know We all go through struggles. We all go through things. But don't let it, it boggle you down. Give your worries away to your spirit, guys. They got you. And you got to have more inner trust and more self-love for yourself to know that you deserve all good things in your life. And this message come to you for, the, for going into next week is to trust yourself. Trust yourself. You know the answer. Stop seeking answers without, you know, in your in your external world go within the best answers comes from within go within that's how you gain more self-love more self-worth and more confidence within yourself and when you have self-love and self-worth it just creates a whole new person all right so I hope this message resonated, okay? And I wish you the best. And going into next week, I wish you love, light, and blessings. All right? Okay, so let's move on to pile two. This was such a beautiful message. Everything just fell into place. Wow. Okay, pile two. Let's see what we have for you. The orange candle. All right, so overall theme that we have is the Empress. All right, so I'm sensing for a few of us, if you've been hoping and wishing, okay, for a baby, you may get the answer this week that you're pregnant. Not all of us, okay, but all right. You may take that pregnancy test this week and boom, you're pregnant. So congratulations, all right? It's come for others of us to this week incorporate more self-care, okay? More self-care for yourself. Making sure that your needs and wants are met, okay? Yes, it's okay to care about others, but making sure that you come first, okay? It's not it's not about being selfish, it's just just about making sure that your needs and your emotional um needs are met this week all right it's calling for you to um pay attention to yourself this week more 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 self-care all right for others there's something that you've been working on for a while okay you've been planting a new seed all right you're going to see it flourish this week it's going to come to fruitation this week it's like a plant you plant the seed and it takes time for it to you know to grow well you're going to start to see whatever it is that you've planted for a while it's going to start to manifest you're going to start to achieve you know success this week you're going to start to see it growing this week all right and like i said i'm going to go back to the self-care be kind to yourself this week i find like you know some of us we're hard on ourselves you know just it's calling for you just be kind to yourself this week don't be too hard on yourself all right you're doing a great job whatever it is that you're doing you're doing a great job don't be too self you know self-doubting and putting yourself down this week it's calling for you to involve more self-care you know more loving words to yourself this week yes we do for others as well but do it for yourself this week okay say positive things to yourself this week all right bring more happiness into your life this week all right for some of us we need to do that this week bring more happiness more self-care more self-love all right saying positive things to ourselves this week 
you know, saying an affirmation each each morning that, that you wake up, okay? A self-love affirmation to yourself this week. It's calling for you to do that this week, all right? Even dancing, singing, okay, or cooking, okay? It, it's giving love to yourself this week, all right? It's, you know, connect with yourself more this week. Do something that you love. Like I said, dancing, cooking, singing, you know, connect with yourself more this week. So something unexpected that will arise this week. Oh, wow. Soulmate. Soulmate. Wow. All right. Soulmate. All right. So something that may arise this week. You know, your soulmate does not always have to be another person. Okay? Even though we, we do see these two penguins here, your soulmate could be you. Just find more self-love. Like I said, self-love with yourself. All right. Finding, you know. Find yourself and be more kind to yourself this week, all right? As well, okay? This week, there could be certain people that's going to enter into your life this week that's going to create healing into your life, okay? Um, for some of us, okay, it could be that, yes, we are connecting with our soulmate this week. And I have a sense, it's somebody that you know. It's not somebody new, all right? It's somebody that you know, all right? And maybe this week, by involving more self-love and more being kind to yourself, you're drawn in people that are meant to be in your life. You're drawn in your soul connection, your soul tribe into your life, all right? Sometimes when we, you know, just pay attention to ourselves, more self-love, being kind to yourself, we draw in people that are meant to be in our life. And these people could be your soul, soul tribes, your soul family, okay? It could be friends for a life. You're finally meeting up with your soul tribe, your soul friends, your soul family, okay? So it don't matter what it is. It could be a drawing in a soulmate. I feel that some of us, we know who this person is. But by creating more self-love, being kind to yourself, okay? It creates more love around you and you're drawn in people that are meant to be in your life. You're drawn in, like I said, your soul family, your soul friends, your soulmate, your partner for life, okay? So by involving how that change and how you feel about yourself, right? Brings in more love into your life. So that's something that could be expected this week, okay? You're drawing in more love into your life. Why not? We all do need love. I just love from a from a from a person, from our friend, you know, whatever it is, from a pet. We all knew we all need love, all right? And like I said, sometimes when you love yourself or you just spend more time on yourself this week, all right, it just it just it just brings you the love that you have always wanted, all right? So you're calling your soulmates, okay? Your soulmate could be yourself as well. It doesn't have to be somebody else. But being in love with yourself, you know, self-care as well, okay? You're finding yourself again. You're loving yourself again. And there's nothing wrong with that, all right? All right, so let's take a look at how can you stay grounded and balanced this week. And we got the Violet Flame. Violet flame. Let me make sure you guys see this. All right. All right, so let's, I'm just tune into this energy. So the violet flame, okay? All right, so this connects with your intuition, all right? This card for me connects with your intuition. So you're, how you can stay balanced and ground this week is by connecting more with your intuition, all right? It's, it's guiding you through a process of just change and connecting with yourself this week, okay? Is connecting more with your intuition, all right? And by creating more self-care and being kind to yourself and drawing in your soul tribe, you're going to know who is good for you and who isn't, all right? Just by connecting more with your inner guidance and your, your intuition this week, all right? So you can stay more grounded and more balanced by connecting more with your intuition. And whatever change comes up, okay, it, like I said, when new 
people come into your life it does you know produce change all right some 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 of us don't like new people all right some of us have takes a while to warm up to new people okay so this is you know your in, intuition is coming into play it will let you know okay if this person is good or not if you should pursue this relationship or not or if you should build a stronger bond with with this person or not you will just know because your intuition your soul will tell you okay so stay you know spend time listening to yourself connecting with your intuition you will get the answer okay because not all soul mates i'm gonna let it know not everybody has the best intent for you okay so people will come in and out of your life and i feel by you creating this week more self-love being kind to yourself you're gonna attract okay a lot a lot of energy all right and some of these energies are good or bad but it's calling for you to spend time with yourself go within your intuition let your intuition guide you okay of letting you know who is meant to be in your life and who isn't who is meant to be in a journey journey with you and who is not who you should be walking away from okay for others i'm getting a message as well that you probably perhaps been stuck in a relationship for a while okay and you're wondering if you should walk away and you don't know what you should do well listen to your intuition okay you thought this person was your soulmate soulmate for a very long time and you just realizing that perhaps you're not in love with this person no more and you're having a hard time ch for change you're having a hard time walking away well your inner guidance your intuition wants you to know only you will know that okay only you know the answer to that okay you thought this person was your soulmate for a long time and you're probably realizing okay probably you're going through a, a awakening stage in your life you're awakening you're re realizing a lot of things about yourself okay you're embodying a god you know goddess energy you're finding yourself you're finding your light and you just wasn't the person you were before you're in, embodying the empress energy okay and the empress is about maturity inner guidance you know awakening a goddess energy finding herself finding her power again and you realize that this person this partner that you thought was your soulmate it's not on the right path for you all right it's not somebody that you want to be in connection with anymore and you're having a hard time letting go because some of us we're not used to change we don't want to let go all right so you're perhaps you know having a hard time this week like should you walk away should you should you stay you know if you walk away that creates change if you have kids with this person that creates change for the kids as well so you're perhaps you know in a limbo should you stay should you walk away but you know you're in a stage of finding something different in your life you want something different okay so your intuition comes into play to letting you know that only you will know the answer okay you will know the answer your intuition then you know go within okay seek the answer within and sometimes you know when we think what's you know change changes it, it you know it, it it's scary and we we, we don't want it you know what is it gonna you know if i if i do this you know um how am i gonna survive you know i've been with this person for 20 years or 30 plus years how could i walk away but sometimes that's that's what you need sometimes walking away is what you need to be the person that you meant to be all right and sometimes walking away doesn't mean it's the end of your love life sometimes walking away from that partner all right could bring you into finding your soulmate the person that you thought was your soulmate perhaps wasn't all right it could bring you your soul tribe your soul family and your soul partner all right so don't you know don't be scared of change okay embrace it all right pay attention to your intuition all right don't be scared of it embrace change all right so let's look at important information uh important emotions that you feel this week okay important information emotions that you feel this week oh my god it's funny how it says moving on all right moving on i was talking about change okay and just some you know you may be stuck or in a point in your life where, you know where you're with this person for a long time you have kids you don't know what you know what you should do you, you know you pay, 
perhaps like i said you have awakened okay you're on a different spiritual journey with the empress card and you just don't feel the same love for this person you thought this person was your soulmate you've been with this person for a very long time and now you're just on a different journey okay different path in your life and you're stuck and you're wondering if you should walk away okay and then the violet flame comes up is to pay attention to your intuition okay whatever comes up follow your intuition and now you have the moving on card okay the moving on card so the, the moving on cards it just sums up okay the answer right you know you embarked on a difficult cycle in your life a difficult decision in your life and i feel with this pile is a love uh, decision okay and this card comes up it's for you okay it's for you to move on all right move on sometimes moving on doesn't mean it's the end of the world like I said you can meet your soul mate okay it doesn't have to be a partner love and partner it, it could be friends whatever it is okay maybe that friend is not the right friend for you you've been friends with a person since childhood all right and you're on a different path okay you on a different journey and you feel guilty walking away from this child childhood friend that you've known for so long all right but your intuition is telling you you need change you need to find friends that okay that aligned with your soul and you feel guilty you feel bad walking away from this friend all right but sometimes for our journey and for us to, to involve and to grow we need to sometimes create change in our life and how we create change sometimes by moving on and sometimes it is difficult and it's hard because for um a person who does not like change or some of us don't like change all right but sometimes change do produce do produce a healing process all right it does produce a healing process all right it gets us more in tune with our intuition all right and it doesn't have to be be a difficult cycle or a difficult thing in your life sometimes moving on do create more success your desires okay be manifested a more positive outcome all right a more successful future so sometimes it does not involve a difficult process all right and then sometimes walking away you come in line with yourself and with your soul tribe the person you're meant to be the friends that you're meant to have so it doesn't have to be a difficult process sometimes moving on could be a great process all right and i feel with this pile it comes to love friendship and just letting go of things that no longer serves us all right sometimes we need to let go sometimes we need, need to plant new seeds all right the empress card comes up we need to plant new seeds all right sometimes we're holding on to whole things that does not make us grow okay yes you have planted the seeds you have water to plant but it's not grown sometimes you need to let it go and plant something new and your intuition is telling you that but sometimes it's, it's hard for us to move on and to let go but change 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 for some of us is hard i understand that all right change is hard okay i i'm a virgo i I'll, i don't like you know I'm, I'm grounded I don't like change so I understand for the, the majority of us we struggle with change but sometimes our intuition is letting us know that change is good okay sometimes it doesn't have to be difficult it puts you exactly where you're meant to be all right so something that you something that will inspire you this week and you got the nurturing card Wow Wow you got that card all right nurturing so all right you like don't worry about it all right you are nurtured like you are protected okay like your spirit guys like your ancestors like they got you like you know like trust okay you are nurtured okay you are good all right whatever path that you choose it's going to be a nurturing path for you. You don't have to worry about it, okay? You are nurtured. You are protected. You're guided, okay? You are okay, all right? You're fine, all right? Don't worry about it, all right? Allow your 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 body, your heart, and your soul to be nurtured, okay? Your, your intuition is telling you what to do. And by you following that, that path, your heart, your body, and your soul will be nurtured okay you're inspired all right that's the card that comes up that what you be inspired this week if you're moving on and following your intuition you'll be nurtured 
okay your heart your soul and body will be nurtured and protected so you no worries you're on the right path okay breathe relax and let it go and move on because you are protected you're nurtured all right you're good you're good okay follow that path you're good Okay, don't be scared of change because you're protected, you're nurtured, you're good. All right? They got you. You're good. So don't be scared of that change. Don't think like, you know, if I don't, if I, I'm, I'm going to stay, you know, because what's going to happen? You are nurtured. Whatever seed you plant by moving on, look look at this card. Like, look at all that color. Look at all that. It's going to grow. All right? Don't be scared. It could be related to a job as well. Perhaps you've been in a job for 20, 20 plus years and you just want something different, but you're scared to take that leap of faith, all right? You're scared of it. You're scared to plant new seeds, but follow your intuition. It's telling you to move on. It's telling you to go somewhere else, plant new seeds somewhere else. You're protected. You're nurtured. You're going to grow. It's going to flourish. You're going to be a, a success. Don't be scared of change. Move on, all right? And what is your spirit, guys, trying to tell you this week? Heaven sent. Heaven sent. They're trying to let you know that heaven sent, okay? That by you moving on, all right, by you planting new seeds, you are getting blessings, okay, from the universe, all right? By you getting guidance and your intuition is heightened, you are getting blessings, gifts from the universe, okay? You are getting on your prayers, your unspoken prayers, you know, things that have been boggling you down. If you should make this change, you are getting the answer. You're getting a gift from the universe, okay? These gifts may be obvious. It may not be obvious, okay? It comes as an offer, a new job offer by you moving on, all right? Okay, and then boom, you get that new job offer that you've always wanted. You have, you know, the company that you always want to work for, it falls into your lap by you just making that decision to walk away from your other company. Okay, by you letting go of that toxic friendship or a toxic partner that you had for so long, boom, you meet your soulmate, new friends that align with, with you. A soul partner okay so it's like sometimes change produces heaven sent blessings all right heaven sends blessings so don't be scared of change all right don't be scared sometimes these change okay heaven sends blessing and like I said in the beginning of this pile for some of us that have been wishing okay for a long time all right for a baby boom heaven sent you're finally pregnant you're finally there so don't be scared of change all right maybe you have done something different this time okay maybe you know you didn't follow your like the doctor said to follow okay um your cycle maybe you went you know you didn't care like you stopped thinking about it and then it happened you became pregnant heaven sent all right don't be scared of change all right let change in sometimes change is good all right don't be scared of walking away from something that no longer serves you all right because you're nurtured by the universe you're nurtured by your ancestors okay your intuition so don't be scared of moving on because sometimes blessings heaven sent blessings comes from the universe all right and how you can support yourself this week imagination all right imagination you can support yourself this week by just going within using your imagination all right imagination imagination for us for all of us okay is key living the life that we want within and finally seeing it manifested all right imagination if you're scared of change imagine your life what it would be like with this change Okay, if you're scared of change, 
Picture yourself with this new thing that you want. Picture yourself with this new loving partner that you want. Picture your yourself with this new friendship. Picture yourself with this baby that you have wanted for so long. And then see it form. See it your reality. Right? So don't be scared of embarking on new change. Sometimes planting new seeds with the Empress, okay, produces and aligns you with meeting your soulmates, okay? Your soulmates could be your friend, your partner, even people that you work with, okay? Get in touch with your intuition because your intuition always knows what is best for you. Seek any answers from within. It's going to nurture your soul, okay? Moving on sometimes is not painful, Sometimes change sends heaven sent blessings in our life. And in supporting yourself this week, imagine your life with something new. Imagine your life with these new seeds planted. What would your life look like? And in seeing it manifested in your outer re reality. All right, pile two, that is your message for this week and such a beautiful message. And I hope you enjoy this. Okay, and let's move on to pile three. So pile three, the white candle. All right, the last pile. So we got here the three of wands. So what overall message comes up this week for you is the three of wands. All right, let's see. The three of wands, okay. The three of wands like talks about, okay, like you're not looking at back, okay? You're, 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 you're moving forward, okay? Like you're just in a moment of change. Like you don't care. Like you're not looking back of spilled milk or th things that didn't work out in your life, okay? You're looking forward. Like I feel for some of you guys, um, there's going to be traveling okay traveling is going to take place place like okay this traveling could be something that you know about okay you've been planning for a couple of months and it's finally going to happen okay for some of others of you it's taking action moving towards a goal that you wanted for so long and you're not worried about your past or failure or what's going to happen or what to come you're just going to embark on this new journey of change and taking action and you're going forward, okay? Um, I sense for you the opportunities for some of us, okay, that are coming up, okay? Great opportunities for, you've been planting a seed for a while, and these opportunities are finally coming, all right? They're finally going to be manifested in your life. They're coming. For others of you, I feel that you're taking a long-distance trip to meeting somebody, okay? This could be a love interest, Okay? Um, you're finding this person online. It could be um, online dating site, okay? And you're finally taking that trip to meeting that person. It's a long distance love. So you're finally saying, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to meet this person and see where it goes. And you're not worried about um, anything. You're just going to meet the person and, and see and see what happens. See if, if you guys, you know, if things, you know, if your personality mesh and, and if things, you know, if you guys get along, you know, you guys probably do get along online, you know, sending messages here and there and texting each other. But you're finally saying, you know what, I'm going to take a chance and finally meet this person is, is a long distance person you're finally going to meet. And, you know, you're going to see, like, do it, do, you know, do my personality mesh well with this person. All right. So you're probably taking embarking on that journey this week. All right. Thinking about meeting that person face to face. All right. All right, so what comes up for you? What uh, something unexpected that may come up is you got the flexible card. All right, so like I said, okay, like you're not looking back, okay? Like you're being more open this week. Whatever comes up, comes up, all right? So, you know, you're being open-minded this week. You know, if, the opportunities are coming to you this week and you're, you're just, you know, like you're not being 
boggled down by making a decision or thinking too hard about this uh, decision. You're using common sense, of course, is it is important, but you're just being more open, just being more flexible, whatever opportunity comes your way. Even with, with this long distance relationship, you're just being more open, okay? Perhaps in the past, you were not one to go online and you know do online dating, but you're giving it as an option and you see what comes up and you're being flexible of traveling to meet somebody, all right? So, all right, so it's calling for you to be more flexible this week. Sometimes, you know, being too rigid in your in your in, in your life and the way how you live your life sometimes it holds you back so by being more open and more flexible it does produce more opportunities all right for you so you, you're finally figuring that out this week by just being more open free flowing does produce more action more opportunities in your life okay new things coming in and not holding on to things too tightly like, like you know i'm just being open being more flexible all right letting whatever comes in comes in all right so how can you stay grounded and balanced this week so we have for you ah what we, what we have for you right oh okay so you could you know be more grounded flexible this week by just spending time this week and you know writing things down okay whatever comes to mind just jotting things down it doesn't have to be like a novel or a book you know just putting your energy into just writing your thoughts your your ideas information just writing things down okay sometimes writing things down it you know it does produce manifestation all right just writing your thoughts down just spending time with yourself this week and you know staying more grounded more balance it's just spending time with yourself this week writing your things down okay sometimes it does create uh, creative you know your more creative force creative flow whatever comes to mind just write it down write down your expression okay it's it's very powerful sometimes great ideas comes for just by you sitting down and just writing thoughts that comes 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 up any thoughts that pops into your head just write it down and sometimes you know those were the best ideas that comes from creating creating something in your life creating opportunities creating a job creating business all right it's just being in a process of just sitting down, trusting yourself, you know, putting your words down on paper, all right, and just, you know, write it down, okay? And this week, you know, it could indicate um, start journaling, all right? Start a diary or some form of like journaling, okay? If it's a form of you want to manifest something, write it down. If it's like want to get your thoughts out, write it down. It's something like that you want to put into action as setting a goal or create more opportunities in your life. Write it down this week, all right? Write it down. Like you never know what could happen because I believe that words are powerful, all right? Such as like spoken words, writing things down are powerful. So, you know, this week, maybe, you know, maybe... Invest in getting yourself a nice journal. They have so many on Amazon, okay? And just writing down your thoughts, all right? Writing, writing things down. Sometimes writing things down, like I said, do create more opportunities for you, all right? Write it down. Or, you know, if you do meet that loved one, you know, which I do feel for some of you guys online, you know, online dating, all right? Texting more, all right? Writing it down. You know, like now we're in it the age where we don't call each other anymore we always texting so you know you'd probably be texting back and forth texting back and forth with, with this person this new love interest all right that's gonna you know perhaps have you traveling long distance to meet this person because the text is that you've been getting for for a while sounds good it sounds really really good so you're very interested in this person and what to come so you're putting all your you know your you're putting all your your energy into this person all right by texting back and forth back and forth you know like you look forward to their texting so you're you know you're willing to travel to meet them so that could be for some of you guys right all right so let's see what important emotional that you feel this week all right so you had a financial and material changes all right all right So I feel for some of us this week, you know, once you let go of like the, that rigid, structured energy or life that you've been living, okay, this week by you being more open, by taking action and just 
creating more opportunities in your life, being more flexible of the flow of your life, okay? Even write down your goals, okay? You're going to see ways that you could create more financial success in your life, okay? Sometimes by writing down our goals and just writing things down, we could, you know, that's create opportunities and we could see ways that we could create more money into our lives. So that's, you know, that's going to come up, you know, important emotions. You probably will feel happy and positive about this because you see, oh, well, I could use this to create more wealth and more money in my life. All right. Uh, by me writing down my goals and steps and ways that I want to achieve these goals and opportunities that I want these goals to manifest, you will see more ways that you could create more financial um, abundance and change in your life, all right? And um, be more flexible and be more open. You could see, oh, okay, um, by me being not so rigid with my life and how I view things, I could create more wealth and opportunities and well wealth and opportunities will come to me by being by me being more open and being more flexible and you know not too much looking back into the past with the three of wands but looking forward okay and you know threes always to me is like a midpoint a turning point in your life all right so it's like this week, you know, you're called to look at a midpoint in your life. And maybe things in your life that you're very rigid, and structured, is to let go of those, those, those thoughts or things in your life that you're more rigid and structured with and be more open and flexible, all right? And writing it down will help you to let go of things that, you know, you're just stuck on, okay? And once you write these things down and let go of these things that you're stuck on, you, you know, for some of us, you could see that it will create more financial change in your life, okay? So, something that will inspire you this week. So, solitude, all right? Solitude will inspire you this week. Okay, let's get into this energy. So, yeah, so, it's, you know... The solitude, you know, does um, come up, okay? I feel like the, the solitude comes up as like sitting down, getting a journal, like I said, you know, start getting a habit of writing a diary or journaling, okay? And just spending time with yourself, okay? Your best thoughts are when you're by yourself, okay? All right? The three of ones is like a midpoint in your life, okay? Like, you know, creating more opportunities, more, you know, more structure in your life, all right? So the three of ones is like, um, moving forward, okay, taking action, happy outcomes, and being more open and more flexible, and, you know, creating a, creating a healthy habit of, like, creating a journal or diary, right, and like I said, by doing that, you're going to open up doors and opportunities for yourself, and sitting down, okay, by yourself, and spending the morning or the afternoon, and writing down your plans, all right, it doesn't have to be structured or, um, or planned, okay? It could be unplanned, unstru you know, unstructured. Just taking time by yourself, okay? And writing down your thoughts and just pulling yourself back from the everyday energy of, you know, your everyday life, all right? And just, you know, enjoy your quiet peace of mind and just whatever comes to thought. Just write down your thoughts and emotion, whatever passed through you. Just write it down, all right? Just write it down, okay? Something within those thoughts, Okay, an emotion will inspire you this week. All right, will inspire you. All right, it's it, you know it, it will call for you to connect with yourself more this week, and whatever that you have written down will inspire you this week. And like I said, it may inspire you into making more money. Okay, it may inspire you into more financial growth in your life. Okay, even you know. For some of you guys, this long distance relationship too, you might just say, man. I hate living a life where I just feel structured and rigid and my thoughts are just so structured and rigid. I am moving, okay? I am going to live with this person overseas. Whatever it is, a long distance relationship, this person have asked you to move in with them. Are you like, damn, big, yes, I'm going for it, okay? And you being more flexible, more open, you know, going into, you know, someplace new, all right? Getting a new job, meeting this new person, it could create 
more doors or opportunities. You're taking action. You're moving forward. All right. Financial blessings and changes is coming your way. All right. You're spending more time with yourself, writing your things down. Okay. Texting this person. All right. It's calling for you as well to go within. All right. Writing your thoughts and emotions down. Okay. Creating a business for yourself with your thoughts and emotions. Just going within yourself could produce whatever it is that you want. All right. And how your spirit guides are speaking to you this week. They're speaking to you in a big, bold version of yourself, all right? When you let go of that rigid life that you've been living, okay? And you're more flexible and open to anything that comes your way, all right? You get a bigger, bold vision that comes to you, okay? When you start writing things down, anything that pops up in your head, like I said, could create a business opportunity for you, all right? So you are just becoming a bigger, bold vision, okay? Just a thought, an idea, just writing things down that you have never done before, something will come to you, okay? Something that you never thought about, a sign will just come to you, all right? Which will just make your life even better, Create more financial blessings in your life, all right? Something that you never thought about, which is, wow, I never thought about that, all right? Will allow more growing success in your life, okay? Even like I said, even going someplace new, even traveling, even living someplace different that you never thought about. Maybe if I move here, how would I feel? Could create something new in your life, all right? create like something new okay a bigger bold version of yourself all right being open more flexible more playful okay not too rigid with your choices like you know something bigger create it in your life so you know th this week is calling for you to don't don't you know don't don't be too too rigid man just let things flow. Just let things flow. Don't be too rigid with, with, with yourself. You never know what could comes up. You never know. You could create a successful business. You never know. All right? Let those vision come to you. Write it down. Because you never know what you could create in your life. Just be more open, more flexible. Don't be too rigid, okay? And don't look back on the past, okay? The three of ones is you moving forward. You're taking action. Opportunities are coming for you, okay? Don't be too rigid with yourself this week. And how can you best support yourself this week? Courage. Having that courage, okay? This is what it says. Be shining, brave, and true, and bright. My courage now returns this night. When you have that courage, okay, you create a big, bold vision. A better version of yourself all right when you're more flexible more open when you're writing things down okay thoughts that don't make sense right now but they're coming to you getting that journal and writing things things down it will make sense when you're doing that you are creating a bigger bolder version of yourself when you're taking those opportunities where you're going down a path where you're not, not sure about this path right now, but you know that something good is going to come of it, you're just, you're just going to feel different this week. You, you're going to have more courage. You're going to just be more open, take a more leap of faith, okay? I'm surprised I didn't pull, I didn't pull, I didn't pull the uh, fool, the fool card because I just feel like you're taking a leap of faith. Like you're just not caring, all right? And sometimes taking a leap of faith and just not looking back, just moving forward ahead at the three of ones you're at a midpoint in, in in your life where you got gotta make a decision and you're just choosing to go with the flow be more open be more flexible writing down your thoughts that comes to you sometimes could create things in your life that you have never thought about or dreamed about and your financial blessings falls into place all right like i said even traveling overseas to meet that person you never know what could happen. Sometimes you just got to take that leap of faith. Be more flexible with your life. Don't live it too rigid. And you're finally realizing that this week, 
having more courage in yourself, letting go things that does not serve you, stop limiting yourself. Sometimes just go with the flow. Let things play out. You never know what can happen. You could build a much more bigger, bolder version of yourself. Even though it says big, bold vision, but I feel you could build a much more bigger, bolder version of yourself. Taking that leap of faith. Having courage in yourself. You never know what can manifest. You never know what life awaits you. And I believe spoken words are powerful, such as writing things down. All right? Writing things down are powerful as well. Because writing things down calls action into your life. It calls action. All right? It calls opportunities that awaits you. Things that you don't see. All right? Things that await you. Taking that splurge. Taking that leap of faith towards love. Long distance, all right? It could be meeting somebody in unexpected way, like I said. Online dating, long distance. Taking that leap of faith towards your career. And something that you just never thought about. But just by writing your thoughts and emotions down and making that a habit, it produces a great opportunity that you never thought about before. And with that, it comes the financial blessings and it becomes a much more bigger, bolder version of yourself. Okay? And with that, you start to get big, bold vision of what your life could be just by being, taking that courage and being, you know, and just being bold and being flexible, not too rigid. To all of us, it's different, all right? It could be in love, in career. It could be whatever it is that you want. But calm for you to be more flexible this week. All right? Creating a habit of writing things down because you never know what can manifest. And just going back and, you know, spending time and rereading what you have written down. All right? Because sometimes the answer lies in what you just have written down. You may not see it now, but, you know, three months from now, you could go back and reread it. And like, oh, wow. I can make this into... A business and then bam you have manifested a successful financial business all right opportunities you took action you never know all right even going overseas to meet that person a long distance person relationship you never know it could turn out to be the best relationship of your life you never know but be open all right, be open, have courage in yourself this week, and just be flexible with whatever comes to mind this week. Writing things down, okay? Spending time in solitude, get that journal, write things down. You never know. You might go back six months from now, and that, you know, that vision, whatever you have written down, a thought, that emotion, it could produce an opportunity for you, a financial blessings that you have never thought about. All right, Pal 3? So I hope you do enjoy this message. I really do. And I will see you guys again for another one. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I love you guys. Love, light, and blessings. And have a great week. Bye.